My name is Jamie. And I'm Katina. And I'm Jessica. And we're all sitting here talking about uh, the Magic Life Foundation and their cause. I don't really eat fish. I don't really like fish. So as an environmentalist, I, I definitely want to see more preservation. I grew up on a farm and I do eat fish. Um, I grew up in Kansas where both my grandparents were actually farmers and I can see this being a very similar situation. I support um, wild. I support um, mom and pop. I'm a vegetarian and I don't eat any fish so I've never really thought much about fishing, the fishing industry, in terms of the quality of the food it produces. I think when you're looking at farmed fish versus wild caught fish, perhaps it's less healthy to consume the farmed fish, which is definitely something that should be considered and made public, and hopefully um, to educate people like myself who don't know the answer to that question fully. I support organic, I support wild, and um, even though I didn't go back and grow up on, you know, like build a, a farm for my own for future families and stuff, um, I still support local farmers, fish, farmers markets. I've lived in Vietnam for quite some time and Vietnamese people subsist largely on fish. It's one of their major industries. It's the way that a lot of small fishermen make their money, but I think also it's fairly un unregulated and yeah, it needs, there needs to be regulation. I 100% agree. And if we're not getting our fish locally, it's probably right. going to come from overseas. So how does that solve that problem? Yeah. That's what these fishermen, right, are, I believe are up against, is um, kind of wild caught versus farmed. And so if the environmentalist extremes are like no commercial fishing whatsoever, my guess is the solution, their solution, proposed solution, is farming of front fish. And I think we've seen lots of implications of, of why that isn't the right solution. Right. So having that kind of balance. Space and nutritional and yeah. And who it's actually supporting. Right. If we put these uh, fishermen that have been doing this for their whole lives out of business and then just kind of pass it off to another country that isn't very well regulated and, and is sending us the yeah. same fish anyway, what does that say about the American culture? I think that's all we have to say about that.